Good morning. A couple weeks ago, I offered a suggestion for getting unstuck, which is to deliberately watch things grow. This is my new mint plan, which I'm very excited about. So today I wanted to give you a, another option for getting unstuck using your private writing practice. So I made two lists, one after the other. <clears throat> The first list is titled, What Once Seemed Impossible That I Have Since Accomplished. Now, I go back all the way as far back as I can remember, right? So, here are a few items on the list. Ride a bike without training wheels. Terrified me at the time. Get on a plane by myself. Leave home to go to college. Write a weekly column in the student newspaper. Research and write a travel guide. Write a novel uh, and then write a stack of books. Speak in front of a large audience, 100 or more people. Stand on my head uh, and so on. And so you'll notice that, you know, intellectually, I know that these things are possible. Even when I was a child, I knew that someday I would, you know, learn how to drive a car, I would get my license. Intellectually, I understood that, that that would probably happen, that I would probably be able to do that. But like mentally and emotionally, it, it just, it was inconceivable to me, even though intellectually I knew that someday um, that I would be able to do these things. I have since accomplished all of these things. And so for the second part of this exercise, the heading is, what seems impossible now? So here are just a few things. Run a profitable business, have a coaching calendar booked solid for months, come up with a convincing theory of time travel for my work in progress. So you see that when you compare these lists, you're looking at what you didn't think you'd be able to do or achieve in light of, and, and that you did achieve and that you did do in light of what seems impossible to you now, it's easier to get yourself in the head and heart space of, I don't know how to do this yet, but I, probably will. Let's just say I will. I will be able to do this someday. So you don't know now does not equal you never will know. And so I found this to be a really empowering writing exercise. So if you want more where this came from, I am launching the Power of Private Writing Level 2 next week. And so there's a progression. There's the intro video, which you can watch by following the link in my, in my Instagram bio. And you can watch that six minute intro video explaining the difference between private writing and journaling. I think of private writing as a type of journaling. And so you can watch that video. And then if you want to watch the first workshop, which is private writing level one, that is an opt-in for my email subscribers. So if you sign up for free to my mailing list, you will get access to that video and the workbook. And so what's launching next is if and when you're ready for the next level, it's a much more in-depth workshop and workbook. So if you're interested in that, just click on the link in my bio for more details. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have a question for me about creative well-being, ego management, or anything else, please either you can drop it in the comments below, you can send me a DM, or there is an anonymous form called the Comet Party Wish Jar, which is on my website at cometparty.com. So I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you next week.